Martin comes to the plate, bottom half of the sixth inning. You know, Bill Beck is the man who started the ivy on the outfield walls of Wrigley Field in Chicago, and when the Cubs have been bad, this has been known as their ivy-covered burial ground. But it's very attractive, and it also causes some problems. Some wild and crazy things can happen when the ball gets out to the ivy, and Andre Dawson has seen some of them. Well, one of the strangest I can uh, recollect is uh, watching Davey Martinez play center field here a couple of years ago, and actually he literally threw himself into the ivy or the wall uh, in an effort to make a play. Uh, he had the ball, once he hit the wall, it popped out and it was stuck in the ivy. Of course, he landed on the ground, uh, looked in his glove, didn't find the ball, didn't see him lying on the ground, and it was in the ivy, and it took about, uh, I guess, two or three minutes of searching before we actually found the ball. But it can happen elsewhere, too. You remember in Montreal the other day when the ball got stuck in the fence behind one of the banners? There's no ivy there. No, outfielders are taught that once that ball gets in the ivy, don't try and retrieve it because it's a ground rule double. If you pull it out of there, if the runner is on his way to third, he gets a triple if you pull it out and throw it back in. So once the ball and the umpire loses sight of it, you leave it in there. Side, you don't want to stick your arm way in there. It may not come out either. That's the second time he's thrown the Pasquale pitch, that blooper, to Andre Dawson. And it's the second time it's worked, a ball and two strikes. Yeah, Dawson's had to <laughs> look more like a softball <laughs> swing. It's a slow pitch game he's in. Just give me one more. I'll tell you what, he's had some pretty good cuts at both of those. I think I'd leave him alone for the rest of the night with that fastball. Well. <laughs> Work twice. That's enough. He picked up strikes. One time he pulled it foul, and that time he fouled it back. <laughs> 2-2 two -two pitch. And Pasquale has struck him out. That's the second time that Dawson has been struck out. And for Pasquale Perez, that's strikeout number six. But a bat player of the game for the Expos tonight receives a complete range of shaving products from Remington, the grooming company, including the Remington Electro Blade Vibrating Blade System. Glides easily for incredibly close, comfortable shaves or your money back. One of the many precision grooming products for men and women from Remington. By the way, the little argument when the Expos were batting top of the sixth inning between Don Zimmer, Bill Hahn, Buck Rogers was all over Pasquale Perez. Who else? Swing and a miss by Barry Hill, ball and a strike. It was because Pasquale wasn't out in the on-deck circle. He was on deck, but he was still down in the dugout, and Don Zimmer wanted him out there where he was supposed to be. The rules stipulate that you have to be in the on-deck circle. You have to have somebody there. Pasquale pitch again, bobbled by Wallach, up with it, over to first, still in time to get Damon Berryhill. This ball comes up and hits Wallach, I believe, in the nose. After he bobbled it, kind of a, one of those all around the body, and then a, eventually around, there it is, right to the, maybe to the nose or just below the eye, he stays with it, throws it in the dirt, and Galarraga. With a nice scoop. <laughs> it's a little bit unusual five to three. Mm -hmm. That's not your basic play. You're used to seeing from Tim Wallach. 